बहुत सर बहुत सर Now I request our principal Maharaj to give his welcome address. Respected Dr. Kutubuddin Ali Molla on the dais and in front of me, my very dear colleagues of, of, of our college and my very dear students present here. So to all you have heard, it is uh, this uh, program is the DBT Star College program. And uh, in this uh, program, uh, we have arranged uh, this seminar. And the uh, topic of this seminar is very uh, interesting because it is very interdisciplinary because ABC of genome editing, all biology students and also the students of chemistry, especially those are in studying in biotechnology. They have to understand this very basic thing, ABC of genome editing. And uh, for this purpose, uh, we have uh, actually very fortunate to get, um, uh, get this resource person, Dr. Kutubuddin Ali Molla, who is the scientist of ICAR Research Institute that is located in Odisha, National Rice Research Institute. And uh, he is working there. So uh, he's working uh, many years and uh, he's also studied in this field. Afterwards, my colleague will discuss all this. So on behalf of this college and on behalf of all faculty and staff member and students, I express my regards and welcome to Dr. Mollaji for coming here in this uh, beautiful afternoon uh, here in this uh, seminar. So we use the students, especially of different uh, subjects, you listen this, I think this topic is not too much subjective. It is too much uh, general subject he tried to discuss. So after that, uh, you enjoy this regarding this genome editing. It is nowadays a great topic uh, everywhere. If you study any somewhere, uh, this genome editing uh, is, a, is a common thing. We have to know a little bit, otherwise uh, we cannot venture this interdisciplinary field. So with this viewer also after that, you interact with them, uh, but uh, you also uh, follow the teacher's instruction, maybe because time limit is there. So many questions will come, but they could not maybe entertain, but you don't hesitate to ask question. Uh, and uh, you actually then enjoy whole the seminar with a great way. So with this viewer, I once again welcome our uh, this today's speaker and also you, all you are present here. So thanks everybody, thank you. Thank you Maharaj for your nice words. Now, uh, before I uh, request speaker to give his lecture, it is my pleasure to read out his uh, brief biodata. Kutubuddin Ali Molla is faculty scientist at the ICAR National Rice Research Institute, Katak, India. He has obtained his PhD from the University of Calcutta. Dr. Mulla has done his postdoctoral research at Pennsylvania State University, availing the prestigious Fulbright Scholarship. He is interested in precise genome editing and uses CRISPR-Cas and other advanced editing techniques for crop improvement. Dr. Mulla has awarded the Young Scientist Award by the Indian Science Congress Association, Kolkata. Jawaharlal Nehru Outstanding PhD Thesis Award by the Indian Council of Agriculture Research, New Delhi. And INSA Medal for Young Scientist 2020 by the Indian National Science Academy, New Delhi. He is also the recipient of AAS and science program for excellence in science from the American Association for the Advancement of Science, Washington, D.C. Dr. Mulla is selected member of Indian National Young Academy of Science, New Delhi. He has recently co-edited a two-volume of Springer Protocol book on CRISPR-Cas methods. He is 
serving as an academic editor of PLOS ONE journal. In addition, Dr. Kutu has recently been selected to serve as assistant featured editor of the, the Plan Cell journal. Till now, I read about his biodata, is all about his achievement after doing PhD. But he is uh, our very much own in Bengali term, Ghore Chele. He did his graduation from City College and did his 12, when a class 1 to 12, he studied from Joyram Jain High School, a interior Bengal medium college school from near Sundarban. From that area, he has achieved too much at this young age. So you can think if he can do, if you can try, you can also do. Thank you, Dr. Kutub. I welcome you for your lecture. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, so thank you for your nice introduction, Jayada. So I call him Jayada. But we are very much confused between two Jayada, you know. Oh, two of our seniors so I named us Joy. So I saved his number as Jayada NDP sir. <laughs> he did PhD under NDP sir. And another Jayada was working with KS sir. So and uh, Thank you very much, so, and uh, pronoun to uh, Principal Maharaj also, he could not uh, be here because of his busy schedule, but he joined, that's the honor to me, and all the faculties of Botany Department and other departments, it is also an honor that you are spending your time here uh, to listen to me. Uh, as I go forward into the topic, you can see by the front slide, the first slide, what do you see from that picture of a chicken, and then, a calm and another stethoscope. Does, what does it mean? What does it signify? Genome editing is applicable in all those fields. Means it, it could be applied for animal improvement, it could be applied in therapeutics, means human health, and it could be applied also in crop improvement. So I'll be trying my best to give you a glimpse of wide horizon of application of genome editing, obviously, and the basis of genome editing, how to do and what are the ABC and Borna Puriche of genome editing, okay? And you know, as a member of Indian National Young Academy of Sciences, we do a lot of science communication, science outreach program, and we felt that sometimes language become a barrier to communicate science to mass. So I was invited uh, for a talk in DST Rajasthan, uh, Department of Science and Technology Rajasthan, and I talked entirely from the beginning to the end in Hindi. So, and I also thought that I would be talking in Bengali here today, if you wish so. Otherwise, I can also, I, I can do Bangreji, something like that. So, Bangla and English, okay? Okay, so, uh, thank you, Jada, uh, for inviting me. And I know uh, all of them are senior to me, Obigda is senior to me. And another sir, this friend of my sir, Ardu Hyde, who is my idol, you know. I always talk, whatever decision I take, I, I talk to that sir, Ardu Hyde. Uh, sir, I'm going to this conference, is it good? So he will do some basic work and he said, no, it is good, you should. Uh, so he's kind of my guide and he is the friend of my guide. So <laughs> thank you, sir. Okay, so going to uh, the first story. Okay, so let me just introduce my topic to you. I would be giving you a lot of short stories to you, various short stories, and if you are attentive, you would be learning a huge range of knowledge from my uh, presentation. A lot of short stories, they have a hero, a start and end, and then again, another story, start and end. So I would also urge you to take some you know, note on that so, so that it would be very much helpful for clear, clearing net also. I am so sure you'd be getting some question from my presentation in your net exam. Okay, so uh, anybody can, anybody tell what picture is this? Anyone? If not, now? Yes, you know. So this is wild teosinte. This is the wild progenitor of maize crop. Progenitor, mane? 
আগে মেজ এরকম ছিল তারপর অভিব্যক্তির কারণে ইভলিউশনের ফলে আমরা এরকম মেজ পেয়েছি বাট ইট টুক ইট টুক নাইন থাউজেন্ড ইয়ার্স ন্যাচারালি অ্যান্ড অলসো বাই আর্টিফিশিয়াল সিলেকশন আর্টিফিশিয়াল সিলেকশন মিনস যেখানে হিউম্যান ইন্টারভেনশন আছে নট অনলি ন্যাচারালি ইউ গেট দিস কাইন্ড অফ মেজ অফ টু ডেজ ফ্রম টিও সেন্টে ইফ ইউ সি টিও সেন্টে হ্যাজ নাইন টু মেবি নাইন অর টেন grain in a single cob but we have thousand grains in a single cob of modern milk okay now if you want to show another angle of this evolution so these are tear center but they are widely spread in a field so to grow 10 plants or maybe 15 plants you need lot of areas because they are they are sparsely grown and they are not compactly grown okay so we modified them in such a way that they can be grown in a very small area and you can grow thousands of plants and you can you can get harvest of many many maize uh, crops from a small land so that is also beneficial to human being so that also we modified we modified the plant in such a way that they they could be compactly uh, filled in a small area okay so we have artificially selected plants to increase their suitability to human needs like to increase taste yield storage and cultivation practices this is an example of cultivation practices okay now if you want to go further up uh, in this direction you can look at it is wild progenitor brassica oleracea shekhan theke amra deliberately select korechi jokhon when we have selected leaf we develop this vegetable which is very popular in western country and when we selected a stem and flower we developed broccoli and when we selected flower cluster cauliflower terminal bud selection gave rise to cabbage so all these kind of vegetables that we eat today they are all developed from a single ancestor brassica oleracea but this has been done by artificial selection deliberate human selection they have not been arisen by natural process so this is another video but i'm uh, it's, un, um, it's, it's my bad luck that i could not play here so here you can see these are all ancestors and we have increased their size taste and look and everything by artificial selection now if you want to see in mid 1800 when gregor mendel jokhon bangshagotir je sutro gulo amaderke diyechen তারপরে আমরা সাইন্টিফিক প্ল্যান্ট ব্রিডিং শুরু করেছি সাইন্টিফিক প্ল্যান্ট ব্রিডিং মানে মানে আমরা জানতে পারবো ধরো দুটো প্ল্যান্টকে আমরা ক্রস করবো একটা ছোট একটা লম্বা তার মধ্যে অফ স্প্রিং মানে নেক্সট জেনারেশানে কতটা লম্বা হবে কতটা বেটে হবে সব আমরা ক্যালকুলেট করতে পারবো দোজ ক্যালকুলেশন অ্যাকচুয়ালি গিভেন বাই দিস লেজেন্ডারি সায়েন্টিস্ট তারপরে আমরা সাইন্টিফিক প্ল্যান্ট ব্রিডিং শুরু করেছি তার আগে কিন্তু আমরা প্ল্যান্ট ব্রিডিং সাইন্টিফিক্যালি করতাম না নাও এখান থেকে তোমরা কি বুঝতে পারছো ফ্রম দিস ভ্যারিয়েশন সো দিস ইজ অল রাইস বাট দে আর দে আর দে আর ভ্যারিয়েবল ফ্রম ইচ আদার ইন গ্রেন সাইজ কালার অ্যান্ড এভরিথিং ইন টেক্সচার ওকে সো হিউজ নাম্বার অফ জেনেটিক ভ্যারিয়েশনস অর ফেনোটিপিক ভ্যারিয়েশন ইউ সি হিয়ার বাট ইউ নো হোয়াই দিস ভ্যারিয়েশন এক্সিস্ট ইন নেচার হোয়াই এন এনি ওয়ান হ্যাভ এন আনসার ফ্রম দ্য ব্যাক হোয়াই single rise but why they have a lot of variation like this you know why because of a spontaneous mutation so in nature if you keep a plant for a long time they spontaneously mutate themselves in their dna mutation means changes in dna later okay so up until 20th century mankind could exploit in selecting plants and animals the variation that are existing because of spontaneous mutation Have you got my point? Suppose you like this here lomba grain for your biryani. So you will be breeding this varieties, okay? Suppose in some South Indian, they do not like any scented rice, so they will go for non-scented rice. And so some people like some mamas with a small grain, so they will breed for their small grain variety, okay? But those variation is existing naturally because of the mutation that happened naturally, okay? now let me just show you one thing here i just added this one conventional cross breeding to marker assisted breeding what is that i'm not going into details of that so it would be too much deviation from my topic so this is a brown brown plant hopper this is an insect it causes huge damage to rice plant so you can see 
this is the damage because of the plant, uh, because of this insect. This is called hopper burn. So brown, brown plant hopper can damage your crop like that. So let me just uh, share this story with you. So this one is a variety. This one is another variety in Odisha. This is famous. But this one, this red color, is resistant to the insect. And this one susceptible to the insect. Mane insect asle eta ke attack kutte pare na, but eta ke attack kutte pare. Okay? Now I want to transfer the trait from this variety to this variety. Because in Odisha, Nobin variety is famous. Nobin is named after the Chief Minister Nobin Party. Okay? So, and now you see, this trait of this uh, brown plant hopper resistance is present in this chromosome 4, this red region. Okay? Now, we are going to publish it soon, unpublished data, we will be communicating soon. Now, trait is here, toilet it. Trait is here. Okay. Trait is here, but you see, after the development, when you transferred and we are going to release the variety, here is red color, here is red color, those are not needed. Which one you want to transfer? Only this one, because this region of the DNA is responsible for the resistant trait. Now in conventional breeding, what we eat today, all the varieties are developed from conventional breeding. We transferred extra DNA. Okay, great. Thank you. So, so have you got my point? I'm going to keep it. I'm going to transfer it. Because this DNA is insect resistance trait. But we have to do that. 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 And we do not know whether they have any negative impact or not in taste, in other aspects. But we transfer them, and that is being released without any, any regulation. Okay? Now, so uh, you will relate it later. Now when we, s we learned that genetic variation is the key to crop improvement. Have you got my point from the earlier slides? The lomba chal hole sheta, tumi, sheta to genetic variation thakhi yeshe chhe. Thale crop improvement kothe gele, genetic variation is the key to crop improvement. Now if you remember, this one is a gamma garden. So this is called mutation breeding. So we started pondering, Amra ever bhaapte shuru kore chhe, okay, thala genetic variation jodhi shotti crop improvement jodhi khub dhar kar hoi, thala kinti spontaneous variation, spontaneous DNA mutation is khub slow process. So Amra kiya ta artificial induce kotte pari, shet Amadhe eva chintar karon. Tokhon manos, eta discover kollo, after that world war two, the mutation breeding, they started mutation breeding. So ekhane, this is called gamma garden, एकाने गाजगुलो रखा हुआ भी आ रहे हैं क्योंकि गामा रे आज बे यू नो गामा रे माने की 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 दौरों ने रे गामा रे यस रेडियो एक्टिव तेज़ स्ट्रीयरोशी जोकन गामा रे प्लांटे आशे तो कौन प्लांटे डीएनए प्रोजेक्ट चेंजेस है डिफरेंट ब्रेक्स हो बे डिफरेंट नोटों डीएनए लेटर इंसर्ट हो बे डिलीट because of this random mutations we, we learned in 1920s and 1940s, you can get this kind of variation in phenotypes. Here, you see different colors of the same. This flower was treated with gamma rays. And you can get this lot of different colors of the same flower because of the changes in DNA induced by gamma rays. Okay, clear? Kono point clear now, shali hatulpata, I will explain korbo. Okay, now according to Food and Agriculture Organization, that 2,500 more than 2,500 plant species, jeta amra grow kori, among jeta theke amra khabar khai, shirokom they are developed by radiation induced random DNA modification. Kam tumi jokhon ex gamma rays dicho, tokhon DNA kono jaga change hobe, amader kaje kono control nai, without control. Okay, now the question to you that. What if we have tools or methods that allow us to modify DNA at a desired spot? Chromosome 4 tipe 
chromosome for a jagger a gene to me change got the power do you have that kind of tools so precise genetic variation not random genetic variations in order to do precise genetic variation now you can perform this editing genomic letters so DNA the gene letter at ATG she will get me edit got the power by this tool CRISPR Cas9 Jeta Archer I'm a topic okay suppose to mark a chair Thomas are going to make a project report back on active to look at it sir bullard a kind of comma this knee kind of daddy this knee kind of a what the out it's you know sir to make edit code about it is to me I was at a can corporate color to my liquor soon or hell they do that is called editing your project report now you can do editing in the genome for your own purpose so this is the outline of my today's presentation first part I'm cover code with genome editing especially CRISPR Cas9 what how and why part to the more precise editing at single base resolution so act a single base ke wrong letter ke change kore amra nothun letter ki vabe introduce kote pare seta bolbo and part 3 te tomader ekta overview dobo how it is being applied in agriculture and medicine now go back to your eighth class standard human body are made up of trillion of cells as rice plant and some higher eukaryotic plants all are made up of trillion of cells if you want to give you an example of a plant cell all of you recognize here what is it nucleus why nucleus is very important and head of the head of the cell because it has chromosome in it okay now what is chromosome chromosome is nothing but a long stretch of DNA which is coiled around histone protein but forget about histone just remember chromosome is DNA okay folded DNA is chromosome now you know you have 23 chromosome am I right or wrong in haploid 23 chromosome in diploid 46 chromosome in human body so if you end to end connect them you can go 1500 times to moon and back to earth the length of a DNA that is present in a single cell okay now do you think that whole length of DNA is equally important no according to the present knowledge you do not know in future what knowledge would come but you cannot be sure okay present knowledge on a poor portion of DNA is not functional so functional portion camera key Volvo a functional unit of DNA is called gene now why gene is functional because when gene expresses it produces protein protein and this protein is nothing but a combination of bit different amino acids and the protein to Japan gene take expressed hello the whole protein will control directly or indirectly a character so a gene ultimately controls a character maybe some character several genes are involved some character single gene or gene is involved okay now you got this point now you are good to understand genome editing if you understand this slide you easy to understand genome editing so what is there in our DNA there are only four letters A T G C and these A T G C makes our genetic code that controls almost everything in an organism how the organism should look like how the organism should behave all depends on this kind of genetic code now this is a DNA sequence if you see a virtual DNA sequence you cannot detect any other letter other than A T G C if you detect I will give you some price So this is the DNA sequence okay have you got my point now I uh, coming to the uh, completely different story here who knows wheat has some kind of allergic reaction what kind of allergy wheat has some people we are very happy to eat bread out of wheat but some people are not happy why because they have gluten allergy because wheat has gluten protein and this protein has two subunit one is gliadin another is glutenin now this gliadin is problematic for those plant that cannot digest the food derived from wheat okay because this gliadin when they when they have food from wheat or rye this kind of uh, a crop then this gliadin induces an antigenic response in their body and so that a continuous immune response happens in their body and they suffer from severe stomach pain whenever they eat wheat or bread 
especially in western country a lot of people suffer from gluten allergy okay because of this problem you know this is called celiac disease where the villi of intestine became destroyed and they cannot di digest the food derived from wheat and cannot absorb the nutrition okay so what do you understand here the problem or culprit is which protein gliadin yes gluten in does not have any problem this is question to you is there a way to disrupt specifically the gliadin gene as i said protein is produced from gene so if we can specifically disrupt gliadin gene so gliadin protein would not be produced and your allergic problem is solved this is the hypothesis the answer is the way is genome editing you can do that specifically okay so what kind of genome editing so suppose this portion is the gliadin gene so you do genome editing that you block that gene to prevent the production of gliadin protein so this is the sequence of gliadin suppose so you change the sequence in such a way that it no longer works change the sequence in such a way that it no longer works so it no longer produces the gliadin protein so here is a simple example of analogous example suppose your code is i am functional your code is i am functional now your sir has edited this one and added three extra letter non so you got i am non functional so you have to do genome editing for gliadin like this so that they are non functional have you got my point okay so what are the genome editing tools available with us so maria jessen is a famous lady who actually first gave us the idea that genome editing could happen and these are the tools one is mega nucleus jfn talen and crispr cas9 a chapter genome editing er popular tool ja diye tumi genome editing korte paro so <coughs> let me tell you these three mega nucleus jfn and talen they depend on protein dna interaction but what is the difference in crispr cas9 RNA DNA interaction. So, if you do CRISPR Cas9, it is more easy to do. Suppose you have to edit the gene of gliadin, and you have to edit the gene of gliadin, and you have to edit the gene of gliadin, you have to design a new protein for each of the gene. But for CRISPR Cas9, you have to design a new RNA for editing a new gene. So, it is more easier than the other three. So, if I want to share with you, this one is Daniel Voitus. You see, he is the pioneer of Talen technology. He is from University of Minnesota, and you know all of uh, the Jennifer Dodna has got Nobel Prize when 2020 in chemistry. In chemistry, she got Nobel Prize for her discovery of CRISPR-Cas9 system and its repurposing as a genome editing tool. Okay. so now i would be my whole presentation is is on crispr cas9 from this point onward so if i want to show you a simple analogous slide to make you understand how crispr cas works so crispr cas can cause targeted inactivation of a functional unit of dna mane je kono gene ke tumi inactivate korte paro by crispr cas it has two component one is dna cutting protein that is called cas9 sorry ha another is a customizable rna that is called single guide rna small rna so why it is called customizable do you know what is customizable mane tumi nije nije design korte paro so this one is a customized customized shirt kichu dhoro tomar dokane gele pantaloons e gele ready made shirt kine nichlo that is not a customizable one. but if you go to a tailor and you can customize according to your own size to fit yourself the best so ekhane tumi rna ke nije design korte paro to target your own desired gene kon gene ta ke tumi target korte chao shei ta ke car basis e korte hobe tomake rna design korte hobe tar beshe tale ki 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 component dutu component ekta cas9 ar ekta hocche guide rna cas9 is a dna chopping protein mane dna ke kete felte pare it is a nucleus protein and what i say in every presentation that ei dutu ke amra jodi ekta analogous example tomake di e hocche postman cas9 is a postman having two scissor in his pocket 
ওর পকেটে দুটো সিজার আছে ওকে একটা পোস্টম্যান and this is the genetic address that you give to the postman and tell the postman to make a cut in your gene তাহলে এটা কি হলো পোস্টম্যান আর এটা genetic address now when you give address to the postman the postman takes the address and it goes to the genome genome means inside the cell inside the nucleus okay then it will search for a similar sequence for a similar letter address ta tumi tumi likhe diyecho in the form of rna so postman er kaj ki o giye puro genome e khujbe kothay exactly same address likha ache address ki genomic address mane ki dna letter er sequence ekta gene onno gene er theke ki jonno difference hoy only on the basis of sequence letter is same but sequence is different so when they they search for a similar dna sequence jokhon same sequence peye gelo tokhon cas9 will be informed or get a signal that this is the portion where i need to make a cut with the scissor that i i have in my pocket so now in next step sorry ki holo eta bujhte parini eta hocche amar gondol hoyto thik ache so okay ha now eta hobe asha korchi bujhte parcho ki hobe যে জিনের জন্য অ্যাড্রেস দিয়েছো সেখানে গিয়ে দুটো সিজার দিয়ে ডাবল স্ট্যান্ড ডিএনএ ইজ এ ডাবল স্ট্যান্ড স্ট্রাকচার তো একটা সিজার একটা স্ট্যান্ডকে কাটবে অন্য সিজার অন্য স্ট্যান্ডকে কাটবে তাহলে তুমি কেটে ফেললে এবং তার জিনটা নন ফাংশনাল হয়ে গেল ওকে না তোমার তুমি আমাকে क्वेश्चन করতে পারো আচ্ছা স্যার এটা তো বুঝলাম যে এক্স্যাক্টলি ওখানে গিয়েই আমার জিন অফ ইন্টারেস্ট গিয়ে কাটলো বাট হাউ এডিটিং ইজ হ্যাপেনিং হাউ মিউটেশন হ্যাপেন্স সো হিয়ার ইজ দা आंसर so you know dna is very important dna vision vision dorkari ekta jinish cell er jonno kon ami bolechi je dna control kore almost everything in an organism thik ache tale ei rokom ekta damage double strand break in dna is a very serious thing cell also takes it very seriously so cell immediately start repairing this double strand break and they try to fix the two end into a single like the original one একদম অরিজিনাল যেরকম ছিল সেরকম ভাবে ওরা সারিয়ে তুলবে রিপেয়ার করবে সো এই যে রিপেয়ার পাথ হয়েছে এটা হচ্ছে প্রি ডমিনেন্ট রিপেয়ার পাথ এরকম যদি একশোটা কেস হয় নব্বইটা কেস ইভেন নাইনটি ফাইভ কেসে এই পাথ হয়েটা কাজে লাগে এটার নাম হচ্ছে নন হোমোলোগাস এন্ড জয়নিং সিম্পলি রিলাইগেটিং দ্য টু ব্রোকেন এন্ড ওকে নাও বাট দিস রেচি যে ইজ ভেরি ভেরি এফিসিয়েন্ট বাট ইফ ইউ গিভ এন এফিসিয়েন্ট স্টুডেন্ট সাপোজ uh it work from 10 to 5 he is very efficient after 6 his efficiency getting reduced after 7 his efficiency further reduced why because he is exhausted he or she is exhausted ekhano tai nh je prothom 100 ta cut thik thak repair kore debe but tomar genetic address ebong cas9 ache tara repeatedly cut hobe jemon repeatedly cut be shesher dike nh je kichu bhul kore felbe error prone ness nh je is error prone যখনই ভুল করবে তখন র্যান্ডম ইনসারশন অর ডিলিশন অফ নিউ জেনেটিক লেটার্স অর অরিজিনাল জেনেটিক লেটার্স ডিলিট হবে অথবা নতুন জেনেটিক লেটার্স এখানে ইনসার্টেড হবে যেটা আমি এখানে তোমাদেরকে রেড কালারে দেখিয়েছি তো এই র্যান্ডম ইনসারশন ডিলিশন যখন হলো তখন কি হবে এবার তোমরা বলো হোয়াট ইজ দ্য ফেট অফ দিস জেন নতুন জেনেটিক ভ্যারিয়েশন চলে এলো তারপর তোমার সিকোয়েন্সটা নষ্ট হয়ে গেল তোমার অরিজিনাল সিকোয়েন্স যেটা ছিল that is no longer exist and because of this this gene will not produce the same protein as it was producing in its original form so now your gene function is gone so you can targeted inactivation of gene you can do so gliadin gene jodi tumi ei kaj karo tale gliadin protein toiri hobe na okay from back are you getting my point মাঝে মাঝে উত্তর দাও জোরে জোরে ওকে প্রথমের দিকে একদম সঠিক রিপেয়ার হবে তারপর যখন এক্সহস্টেড হবে এর ক্রিয়েট করবে তখনই মিউটেশন হবে but cell a cell a continuously is a very good question cell a continuously erokom cut hobe ebong ora shotik bhabe repair korbe jotokkhon shotik repair korche totokkhon tomar address o shotik ache 
কারণ তুমি অ্যাড্রেস ডিজাইন করেছো তো অরিজিনাল সিকোয়েন্স দেখে যখন এই রকম সিকোয়েন্স চেঞ্জ হয়ে গেছে তোমার অ্যাড্রেস আর এখানে ম্যাচ খুঁজে পাবে না কেন নতুন ইনসার্শন ডিলিশন হয়ে গেছে তখন আর ফার্দার কাট হবে না ওকে বাট ইট হ্যাপেন্স ইন প্ল্যান্ট অ্যান্ড অ্যানিম্যাল ইট ভেরি হাই এফিসিয়েন্সি উই গট ইন আওয়ার এক্সপেরিমেন্টস ইন মোর দ্যান এইটি পার্সেন্ট এফিসিয়েন্সি সাপোজ ফর প্ল্যান্ট আই ক্যান গিভ ইউ এক্সাম্পল ইফ আই জেনারেট এইটি প্ল্যান্টস আউট অফ হান্ড্রেড প্ল্যান্টস আউট অফ হান্ড্রেড ইউ ক্যান গেট মোর দ্যান সেভেন্টি প্ল্যান্টস এডিটেড সো দিস ভেরি হাই এফিসিয়েন্সি ওকে সো আই গট গট দিস পয়েন্ট সো লেট মি জাস্ট প্লে দিস ভিডিও ফর ইউ সো দ্যাট ইউ বি আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ডিং বেটার Uh, uh, sound name? ...to the system. A DNA cutting protein called Cas9 and an RNA molecule known as the guide RNA. Bound together, they form a complex that can identify and cut specific sections of DNA. First, Cas9 has to locate and bind to a common sequence in the genome called a PAM. Once the PAM is bound, the guide RNA unwinds part of the double helix. The RNA strand is designed to match and bind a particular sequence in the DNA. Once it's found the correct sequence, Cas9 can cut the DNA. Its two nuclease domains each make a nick, leading to a double strand break. Although the cell will try to repair this break, the fixing process is error prone. and often inadvertently introduces mutations that disable the gene. This makes CRISPR a great tool for knocking out specific genes. Okay? Clear to? Next slide. Next slide. Okay. Let's see what we've seen. DNA sequence. Let's see what we've answered. what new design you should do suppose this is the dna sequence of gliadin gene that i introduced to you and you want to make a cut in this gene so you have to design a guide rna of 20 nucleotide long only 20 nucleotide new uh, sequence of rna you need to add for this system to work on gliadin gene so ekhan theke dekho ekhan theke eta puro 20 20 ta nucleotide ache dna ekhan theke tumi rna er address ta toiri korbe and this is called this is your answer this is called pam proto spacer adjacent motif so in molecular biology term this target sequence is called proto spacer but cas9 er ek limitation ache jeta cas9 je kono jaygay kaj korte parbe na until and unless the target sequence is present adjacent to a ngg sequence this is called tgg mane ngg n mane je kono nucleotide and gg and this is called proto spacer adjacent motif this is called protospacer and this is pam or protospacer adjacent motif so your target should be just adjacent to pam sequence have you got my point and how to design a guide rna so tomake 20 20 nucleotide er ekta guide rna design korte hobe okay so this is the example that i gave to you so if you want to see the gliadin gene with domains this portion is the main culprit of the gliadin gene this is the structure and ei portion theke je protein ta toiri hoy sheitai antigenic response toiri kore so what they have done this daniel vardas and other uh, uh, collaborator what they have done they made two cut here one cut and here one cut sg mane hocche single guide rna okay here one cut and one cut when they have done this experiment you see this is the control means normal wheat plant with lot of alpha gliadin huge okay and here the edited one has a very negligible amount of alpha gliadin so you get a wheat plant without alpha gliadin and what they have said low gluten non transgenic wheat engineered with crispr cas9 so now if you have this wheat to those people who are allergic to gluten they will they will have this bread or any preparation from wheat with very happy face without any stomach pain okay now second part eto kon ki precise bollam exactly je gene chaicho sei gene giye mutation hobe but now this is more precise editing what is called more precise single base resolution means you can remove a wrong dna letter and you can insert a new dna letter okay this is more exciting than what you have learned till now
Yeah. Obviously, very good question. So this is why Ram Krishna Mission is always respected because of students. Very intelligent questions. And Cas9 has nucleus activity, also helicase activity. So Cas9, when they find similar sequence, they will first unwind the DNA. Means they will denature the DNA, and then they find similarities with the guide RNA, and then they will make a cut. So first helicase, then nucleus. Very good question. Thank you. And one other Jack question, I mean just uh, finish korbo, tarpa tomada shonge, kotha bolbo. Tika chhe? Okay. So predicting CRISPR Cas9. So more precise, jodi kotha chao. So we amra kiko kotha pare? Dakhu. Amar choto golpo bolli. Amar experiment theke. Joka ami evang Justin bolle ekta grad student amra ekshate kaj kochilam. Amader dujone both joint project. Jokhon amra kaj kochi, jokhon dekchi je ekhi guide arena jokhon use korchi, same kind of mutation generate hotche. Mane? Ami thora ekta experiment char bar repeat kollam. Prothik bari dekchi trend of mutation is similar with same guide arena. So, we have to say random, random insertion deletion. That is not true. If it is random, then we have to say that the mutation is not true. The insertion deletion is not true. But we found a lot of similarities in the mutation profile. So, who is best to insert, who is best to delete, we shall come on from experiment to experiment if guide RNA is similar. So, we have to say in the forum article, CRISPR-Cas9 induced mutation could be predicted if we have big amount of prepared data. I mean, there is a lot of experiment and prepared data that we have to do with machine learning, that we have to do with a model develop, that we have to do with a model that we have to predict on the basis of past results. That we have to do with a guide RNA, that we have to do with a mutation. For easy example, here is the 20 base pair guide RNA and this is key. What is this sequence? PAM sequence. Now, if the minus fourth position of your guide RNA has a T, then we, 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 we opined that Cas9 mediated cleavage would produce another T insertion. Arrector T inserted. If the minus fourth position, I mean, look at this, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 number DNA letter, if it is A, then arrector A inserted. If you have minus 4 and minus 5, if you have two C, then actor C delete. So this is the kind of prediction you can do with machine learning models. So then we did a lot of follow-up experiment. This is an opinion article. And you can, you would be amazed to know. So this is suppose, this is the guide RNS. And you can see here, minus 4, what is the key? Minus 4, tell me. 1, 2, 3, 4. Fourth, what is T? Let's see the result. This is, this is the guide RNA, okay? Guide RNA, PAM, PAM sequence, AGG. Look, three number, one, two, three. Let's see. Okay, so three zero, four, T, four, four number, one, two, double T. Have you got my point? So this is an original chromatogram. Chromatogram means how we read sequence. This is the sequence. If it is red color, it means T. If it is black color, it means G. If it is green, A, and blue is C. So here, you see, here was one T, and we got here two, two T. It means one T is inserted, according to following the prediction that we have predicted. For the another locus also, same. The fourth one was it uh, T, and another T is inserted. So you can use those tools, and you can predict what kind of insertion would happen, and what kind of, I mean, so what percentage of your uh, mutant plants or organism has that T. So, I uh, can example that the chai. Out sprouted got the This is the observed from our experiment T should be inserted. And due to model in Delphi and Forecast, they also predicted that T would be inserted. Similarly, observed here also, you can see here, C was the predicted one and we got C as predicted by Indelphi and Forecast Machine Learning Model. So this is how you can predict or take an informed decision of your experiment if you use this kind of tools. Okay, now coming to that single base pair resolution. Progeria disease. Amitabh Bachchan was 12 years old. I am lying. Amitabh Bachchan is not 12 years old. 
But in that movie, he was acting like a 12 years old. And this is true, all the progeria uh, uh, affected children, they die uh, when? At the age of 13 and 14. And they look like a very aged persons, like 80 years, 90 years old, because of this rare genetic disease, which causes childhood aging, rapid aging at the childhood. Now, do you know what is the difference between Oro and Oro's friend? They are both 12 years old, but the difference is this. A single gene has a wrong DNA letter. The right DNA letter, this, this friend has right DNA letter G, but Oro had A instead of G. So, G was correct and Oro had a wrong DNA letter A. Because of the single changes in lamin gene, Oro is suffering from progeria. So, we knew the answer, uh, sorry, we knew the cause of that disease, but we did not have any tool to cure that disease. Now, from plant perspective, this is a rice plant which is susceptible to a fungal disease. Chatra gudita roge ki avastha dekho. Because of a wrong letter C, jokhon right letter T aje, tokhon plant is resistant to that fungus. Tale chatra kroti rodi khamata toiri hoche because of a single nucleotide change. Now, this is the question to you. Is there a way to rewrite genetic letters? How? Gene editing? No. Gene edit, key call it. Gene edit can disrupt the function because of random insertion deletion. But you have to remove this A and write G exactly rewriting, rewriting. It's not, it's not deleting or inserting randomly to deactivate a gene. The CRISPR-Cas9 that I told you that is good for deactivating a gene but not correcting a gene. Later, keep your question. Okay, okay, go ahead. Huh? Yeah, yeah, that, that's a very good point, yeah. By predicting, you can do, but not in all cases, okay? What prediction I said, the prediction of insertion you can do, what new basis being inserted and what new deletion would happen, that you can predict. But what replacement would happen, you cannot do. This is, you need replacement. Wrong should be replaced with a new. So, you need a pencil to erase the wrong letter and then write the right letter, okay? So, this is the pencil. The technology is called base editing technology, which acts as a pencil, which has a rubber to erase the old wrong letter, and then with the lid, you can write the right letter. And this base editing is a modified version of CRISPR Cas9. It has an N Cas9 fused with a D aminase. What is N Cas9? I will uh, let you know later. And with the available base editing tool, we can rewrite this kind of changes A to G, G to A. T to C, C to D, and C to G, and G to C. These kind of changes you can do in very precise manner with base editing tool. And this is, uh, remember this page, David Liu, he is the pioneer of this technology. And David Liu is expected to get a Nobel Prize in next 10 years. All people are talking, this is not my version, <laughs> but people are talking because he has immense contribution on therapeutics angle of genome editing. So, okay, what is NCAS9? That should be your question in your mind. So, this is, you know, the postman has two scissors and it can cause double stand break. Now, if you change the protein, the postman is a protein. If you change the protein in such a way that it does not have one scissor, you snatch a scissor from the postman. Now, the postman has a single scissor and it can only make a nick in the DNA. What is nick? If it is a single strand, single strand cut, it is a nick. So, nick is, you can make single strand break. And if you take both the scissor, it would be dead Cas9, but dead in means of catalytically dead, but it has the property to bind to the exact sequence. It can go and bind to the gene of interest that you are giving in the form of your address, genetic address, but it cannot make any break, okay? Now, let me just uh, make you understand how base editing works. What do you see here? What is wrong later here? Wrong. So, you do not have any star in your sky. 
So you're very unhappy. You have this editing tool. You can correct. And the code is corrected. And you have the result. Okay. This is how base editing works for genomic code. Clear? So I do not need to explain more because it is self-explanatory. Okay. Can be used to transport those enzymes to a specific DNA sequence. In one example, Cas9 is fused to an enzyme, a deaminase, which mutates specific DNA bases, eventually replacing cytidine with thymidine. This kind of precise gene editing means you could turn a disease-causing mutation into a healthy version. Okay, got your point. So you fuse the NCAS9 with deaminase and you can develop a new base editing tool to change DNA letters. Okay. So I will give you an example from my work. Uh, yes. So this is a base editing tool that is called adenine base editor. Uh, that this is in Cas9 and uh, this is the deaminase that can deaminate adenine in DNA. Okay. So what we we did, we first tried to see whether this adenine base editor is working in rice or not. Uh, so we designed two different genetic address. Uh, one for WSL5 gene, this is WSL5 and another is J3. So in RNA form, the guide RNA looks like this, starting from here to here, another starting from here to here, these are, it looks like, when it is RNA, it, it looks like this kind of form. Now we have fused tRNA before each guide RNA. And we then transcribed this kind of PTG. This is called polycystronic tRNA, gRNA. So tRNA, then guide RNA. tRNA, then guide RNA. So you can use a single promoter to produce a two address, two different address in a single experiment. Now you can say, sir, how it, is it possible? So Cas9 will be confused where to go to WSL5 or to Z3 because two addresses is given together, okay? So now, in normal cellular condition, these two genes, uh, two protein is present that automatically cleaves tRNA. So if tRNA is separated, then what will happen? One WSL5 will be separated from the Z3, okay? Now WSL5 will go to chromosome 4 to its target and Z3 would go to chromosome 3 to its target because WSL5 gene is present in chromosome 4, Z3 gene is present in chromosome 3. Now let me show you the exciting result. Here WSL5 gene, it is the target region. So I have told you that chromatogram is green, black, I have told you already. So I have target that A adenine nucleotide, I have A base to change to a G nucleotide. Like the changes that needed for Oro's correction, A to G. So we try to see and we applied base editing tool and can you see the result here? What do you see here? A has completely converted to green to black. It means A has been changed to G. Can you find any other changes happened in this experiment? Here, just match. This is the control means non-edited. This is the edited one after base editing treatment. You cannot see any other changes in any other nucleotide or any other DNA letter. So this is how precise you could do. This is from my own experiment. So, and we know, we knew that this change A to G would produce a character that is called mutant character, which is called white striped leaf. We know that rice leaf is green in color, but when this changes happen, it will produce a white color stripe in the leaf. So these changes we did in genotype, and you see here the phenotype, because of the single nucleotide change in WSL5 gene. We got my point? Okay. Now move to the second one. What happened with the second one? J3. This was our target A and after base editing we got similarly a G has been uh, formed instead of A. And same the phenotype. Here is the phenotype. Z3 means zebra 3. Light green, dark green coloration in leaf. 
So here is light green, here is dark green, light green, dark green. And also another phenotype like the plant would be very dwarf in uh, nature, means the height would be reduced if you do this kind of single nucleotide changes in Z3. So these are all expected and we got same changes as earlier literature has already mentioned that uh, this kind of mutation will cause this kind of phenotypic effect. So you can do that kind of thing artificially by using base editing tool. Okay, now the question is why genome editing a lot of people are talking about? Because, uh, you know, there are a lot of misinformation about genetic modification or GMOs or transgenic plants. So there are a lot of debates on it. I'm not going into it, but with genome editing, why people are talking about? Because genome editing allows you to develop a mutant plant with a good trait without any foreign DNA present in the crop. How is it present? You see, this is a very simple example. You do a very simple experiment, PCR. I think all of you know PCR. So if you do a PCR specific to base editor, what is there in base editor? N-Cas9 and d -aminase. So if you design a primer to amplify N-Cas9, and this band means presence of N-Cas9 in your plant. This is a gel where 25 mutant plants that has the changes happened, A to G. We know from the sequencing result. Now, we do a simple PCR to see whether the base editor is present in that plant or not. Then, presence means band is present. But out of this 25, you see six plants does not have any base editor in it. It means you get your desired mutation in the genome, but no foreign DNA is present now. How is it possible? Let me make it simpler. You have to transfer, transform your cell with the base editor construct, means base editor DNA, you have to transform into the cell to make the changes in DNA, okay? So suppose you do not know where the base editor DNA will be integrated. You cannot control that. Suppose let us assume that base editor integrated in chromosome 1, okay? Now the address you have given, what is the address? The address of chromosome 4, WSL 5. Now, base editor integrated in chromosome 1 will produce which protein? Base editor protein. And this protein will go to the address. Where? Chromosome 4. Now, base editor will change the DNA in chromosome 4. The mutation happened. This asterisk means mutation happened. Now, you tell me, do you need the base editor longer to be present in cell? Tomar ki ar base editor e dorkar achhe? already genome change So you do not need the base editor to be present inside the cell. You can get rid of that base editor. And you can obtain a mutant without any foreign DNA. How? Very simple for sexually propagating species like rice. You know Mendelian segregation, law of segregation. So next generation, you segregation. You know what you Next generation will grow. And then you do this kind of PCR you will be having some plants that has the mutation but does not have the base editor in it. So you get in the next generation homozygous mutant plant without any foreign DNA integrated. We got my point? This is the beautiful uh, aspect of this technology and that is why people are very, very positive towards this. So I will be sharing all of this with you. Now, when you move forward, for a, this two WSL5 and Z3 did not have any economic importance. So that was for demonstration purpose, so whether we, could, we can do this kind of precise changes or not. Now we move forward and see whether we could apply this technology for a good reason, for a good cause. The cause is to develop disease resistance, okay? So you know, in gene, this is a, this is a separate story, okay? So this gene has a premature stop codon. What is a stop codon? Some of you know. What is a stop codon? Yeah, I, 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 yeah, it is. It appears that all of you know that. That is why you are saying me. Uh, stop codon should be present at the end of a gene. And a stop codon is the signal. This is the signal, red signal, to a protein synthesizing machinery to stop protein synthesis. So this is a signal to protein synthesizing machinery in the cell to stop the protein synthesis and it should be present at the end of a gene. Now, 
Sometimes what happens? Natural mutation happens. Nature causes a lot of mutation. You cannot imagine how, means how many mutations can be generated through natural process without any intervention. So this is an example. In some varieties, this is a very important and crucial gene. But because of natural mutation, this stop codon is present at the beginning or at the middle of the gene sequence. What would happen then? Yes. So truncated protein will be produced. My whole length protein will not be produced. So gene is now non-functional because of this mutation. So TAG is the stop codon. What is TAG? This sequence is the stop codon. Now, we, we wondered whether we could convert or correct this stop codon, premature stop codon. So, what, what changes we can make here? No? I just gave you an example. TAG to TGG. A would be changed to G, so it would be TGG. So, TGG is not a stop codon. So, we applied base editor and this is the original result that we obtained. It became TGG. Okay? Now, when it becomes TGG, it codes for tryptophan. It is not a stop codon now. It can produce an amino acid which is viable for a protein structure. So now, when the tryptophan happens, then the mutant will produce a full length of protein and the plant would be disease resistant. Because of this natural mutation, some rice variety are disease susceptible. Now, when you corrected artificial with base editor that we corrected and it becomes blast disease resistant plant. So this editing tool gives you this power to correct a natural mutation for developing disease resistance. So this is a very good example of crop improvement. Now when it becomes TGG, what it becomes? A green signal to the protein synthesizing machinery. Now it would move until the end of the gene. It will not stop here. Okay? Last part. Are you enjoying? Sure. From the back. From the back. My talk is not interesting. So, positive thing. Thank you, thank you. Question? Uh, ah, yes, here, go ahead. Okay, set a mic deal. Mic deal. Sir. All, all students. Okay. Go ahead. Hi, sure, go ahead. Sir, Bolchi is a truncated protein tar jagai. Mane whole protein synthesis hoche bole ki mane arki mane tryptophan tar jonno ki disease resistance hoche na ki full protein. Full, full protein a jonno. Full Ach, protein. Mane tryptophan tar jonno. Tryptophan is not important. Yeah. Okay. Moving forward, should we watch the Pare Pare? I'm just going to talk about it. Exciting slides, such a Pare Onik Onik exciting slides, such a Tickets, don't worry. Okay. So it is not possible. It's impossible to give you a glimpse of what is happening in agricultural field with genome editing in a one hour lecture or maybe two hour lecture. It's impossible. So this is just I noted down without any references because I know those references exist. So you can ask me, I can give you reference. So these are the, so you see, I cannot even mention a one or two crop name because all major crops have been edited for increasing yield and minor crops also. Disease resistance, bacterial, fungal, viral, nematode and others, lot of different aspect of disease resistance plant could be also developed with genome editing tools. Climate adaptation or climate resilience uh, and said so general like drought tolerance, when khara jodi hai, very low amount of water, salinity tolerance and flood tolerance plant also being developed with uh, genome editing. Taste, tomato taste enhancing, strawberry sugar content enhancing, and nutritional quality also, healthy oil in soybean, glutenless wheat, I gave you example, glutenless wheat, tomato with high lycopene, that is an anti-cancerous, and storage also, this tomato and mushroom is very famous, uh, you know mushroom, if you cut mushroom, 
and keep it uh, for a few longer times, the, the cat point would be turned brown. So the, now people do not like that mushroom to buy, okay? Because it secretes polyphenol oxidase and uh, polyphenol oxidase will oxidize phenol and it will produce that color and that we do not like. So what they have done, this, is, this work is from my boss, Ms. my supervisor in postdoc, Inong, and that was the first genome edited organism, mushroom edited and that is called non-browning mushroom. A lot of news uh, article you can read this one. So non-browning mushroom have been developed with, uh, uh, with editing. One simple example I can give you just to show the power of this technology. I am not going into details of all the single single example, but to show the power of example, because I have shown you uh, this slide, yes, modern ago, 9000 years. This is a recent photograph taken by one of my friend in Iowa State University and I got it from him. This is original Teosinte with six, maybe eight, nine, just count it, I do not know. And you see the modern decon, okay? So this is the happening happened. <clears throat> and you know why it happens? It happens due to domestication. How domestication? This is a very beautiful story. If you read it, you'd be fascinated how we have domesticated our crop. Our, our, our forefathers, they have done this for us and we are enjoying the food. We do not know what is the story. Okay, so suppose <clears throat> one crop is very good in taste but does not produce a uh, good amount of food to feed a family. So they grow in their kitchen garden in, in, in prehistoric time and they see that out of thousand plants, one plant is producing more seeds than the others. Have you got my point? Out of one thousand, one plant is producing more seed than the nine thousand, uh, 999. They do not know genetics. That time, what is genetics? What is DNA? Nobody knew. Then they will select it because they are beneficial uh, character. What is beneficial character? This one, which has more seeds, they will select, segregate out that plant. Next generation, should do plant to grow. The seed taken from that plant, they will grow only that plant. Next generation, they will get all the plants with high yield. Have you got my point? Tell basic production all the plant color select color fellow. Kota ke bad dilo, nausha mevino beta ke bad dilo. So the nature benefit, very easy selection. This is called artificial selection. Okay. <coughs> now, why out of thousand, why one showed this kind of beneficial character? Who can tell me? No, don't go too complex. It's very easy. Science is very easy. Because one natural mutation happened somewhere in the gene. One, in one plant, natural mutation happened and that is why the negative impact is gone. Yield reducing negative impact is gone and for that mutation, that plant has beneficial phenotype and that the beneficial phenotype is visible from outside and we have taken out, we have selected that for the next generation. Same condition also. One, cucumber. Kichu cucumber te hai? আমরা সিলেক্ট করেছি আগে সব কিউকাম্বার তেতোই ছিল তার মধ্যে দেখেছি কয়েকটা প্ল্যান্ট খুব সুন্দর টেস্ট কোনো তেতো নেই সেইগুলোকে সিলেক্ট করে নেক্সট জেনারেশনে গ্রো করানো হয়েছে বিকজ ও তেতো কালার যাওয়ার পেছনে কারণ একটা জিন ডিঅ্যাক্টিভেশন নষ্ট হয়ে গেছে বিকজ অফ ন্যাচারাল মিউটেশন উই ডিড নট নো এট দ্যাট টাইম বাট নাও বায়োলজি হ্যাজ প্রগ্রেস সো ফার দ্যাট উই নো দ্যাট হোয়াট আর দ্য জিনস দ্যাট হেল্পড ইন ডোমেস্টিকেশন দ্যাট হেল্পড ইন ডোমেস্টিকেশন so those gene is called domestication gene okay so in tomato let me give you an example for rapid domestication this technology is being used where sp means self pruning gene where this is a wild plant what i showed you cultivation practices a plant is taking too much of space for growing so it is bushy nature and spreading nature so you cannot grow a lot of plants in a small area domesticated plants all have the same character it should be compact and why tomato has been domesticated new from the literature that this gene has been mutated naturally to develop normal tomato natural mutation now we know that now this wild tomato solanum pimpinelli folium they have done editing to the same gene sp 
that happened naturally in normal tomato, but they have done recently from Cold Spring Herbal Laboratory and they developed this kind of compact nature of that wild tomato. Now, again, see, this is the wild tomato. That is only few florets in the inflorescence. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. And few florets to multiflora. Multiflorate inflorescence, they have developed by editing uh, multiflora gene. And you can see how many florets are there in the inflorescence. These are all known from the natural occurrences and that is being mimicked by applying genome editing tools. Same, wild tomato, size ta dhekho kato chotto. Jeta amadu jeno kubaito upakari noi, karan amadu chashira chashko bhe ki boro boro size, jeta akta gaste ka honek beshi hoi, beshi lab hoi. This is natural. Here, when this fasciated age gene has been edited, the size of the fruit has been enlarged by uh, two to three times and more than that also. And how, <coughs> how scientists knew that this gene would give you a larger size? We knew from basic biological study already happened in the past. But no, nobody could recreate it uh, before the discovery of genome editing tools. Now you can recreate by mimicking a natural mutation in the variety of your interest. Okay, so you can make a wild plant like a domesticated plant in maybe three to four years. And there are at least five or six publication already appeared of rapid domestication from wild cultivars, uh, wild species to a cultivated species like appearing plant. Uh, so, you know, this is very beneficial, why? Suppose one wild plant has resistance power but no cultivated plant does not have that kind of resistance power to drought to an insect. Now, and we cannot cross wild to a cultivated plant. It's very difficult. Then if you have genome editing tool, you can make that wild species to a cultivated species in a very short span of time without hampering the drought resistance trait or insect resistance trait. So you have a cultivated plant with insect resistance trait or with drought resistant rate. So this is lot, almost all crops have been already edited with this technology. This is a representative image. And if you want to know other more precise editing uh, technology uh, application, I would uh, recommend you go, to go through this review article we recently wrote. Uh, their application, like if I want to say, this base editing tools is being used for developing herbicide tolerance in in, those are all plants that have been already developed. These are all demonstrated example. It's not that potential example. This is already done. This is from that review article. High sugar content of strawberry, increased carotenoids, altered starch composition of your rice, and the domestication also. Yield improvement, I told you already. Disease resistance, you can mimic natural variation by applying this technology. So I, I give you an example of that correcting stop codon. That is also mimicking natural variation. We knew that this variation would give us uh, disease resistance trait. And also input use efficiency. So we use a lot of chemical fertilizer. So now with this technology, we can develop a plant that has, that will give you same level of yield with less input, means less fertilizer, less water. So if we modify some gene that are more efficient to uptake nutrition than the existing one. Soil is the Sorry. Any problem? Soil is the Exactly, you are right. Suppose, I am going to give empirical example. The soil is actually a nitrogen molecule. Our plant is sufficient. But I mean fertilizer, farmer on a basic fertilizer. The Jotra Dorka Tatek on a basic. So leaching, hoja on a Jolde Puchu loss. Ever plant in nitrogen absorb for a comota hot of fifty. Take a chair. Or fifty absorb for a comota chair. But Ami J plant edit for a toy coach, it are absorbing power which is seventy. The same amount present in soil, but it has more power to take up the nitrogen so that it can give you more yield. That is the concept. But if it is devoid of nitrogen, it is impossible. No technology can <laughs> give you. Yeah. Okay? Good. So this is the final uh, 
Final slide, maybe, not final. So this is the question you should, should be asking to me at the end of that. That is why I kept it. Because I knew you are very intelligent, you are going to ask this question. Are there any crops that are commercially cultivated? Means, genome edited crop ki akhon commercially available. What does it mean commercially available? Mane farmer ra ki chash kochche, shara prithi vite kothao? That is the question. The answer is yes. This is soybean available in USA, developed by Dan Boydus, uh, by using Talon, not by CRISPR-Cas9. Talon is another genome editing tool, and he is the pioneer. He developed a soybean that has the oil composition similar to olive oil. You know, olive oil is very healthy for us, so very costly. So this soybean is named as Calino, that has 80% oleic acid, very good for our heart and also 20% less saturated fatty acid. It means it will also exist longer if you uh, keep in your, uh, what is called, Almira or any rack, means it will not go rancid, means it will not be uh, wasted, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, we have a good photograph, uh, good video I collected from Dan Voitus. So I wanted to show, but you know, I had to, you have to bear with us. So, yeah, this is the field. Calino is growing in USA, genome edited uh, soybean. Okay, this is a field I showed you, okay. <laughs> okay, now another one, one, two. So there are two only available. Uh, this one, Japan, 2021, GABA, high GABA, GABA means gamma amino butyric acid, is a non-protein amino acid, means it does not present in protein, but this amino acid helps in lowering blood pressure. So this tomato has higher amount of GABA, amino acid, and so if you have it, it can be relaxed and help to lower hypertension. So it is medically proven that they medically prescribe high GABA capsules. Now you can have this one to uh, help you to reduce blood pressure. And this is also uh, developed by Sanatec and uh, people are growing in kitchen garden. I have those photograph but I have not put here. Um, so we wrote an article for DST, uh, Department of Science and Technology. And this is technology scouting chapter I have written, uh, written for them. So I put those photographs there that it is already, so I got from original author and they, they said that they already started selling in Japan supermarket. It is available in cart, you can, means if you go to Japan you can have it. And also people are growing in their kitchen garden, this genome edited. But this one is CRISPR edited. Remember this one is CRISPR edited. So if anybody asks you a question, just name the crop which has been first commercially available that is edited with CRISPR. That is high GABA tomato, okay? High GABA tomato is the crop that is CRISPR crop available in the market. Okay, so in disease, this is pathogenic mutation. You know, for human pathogen, 61% of disease causing wrong letter can be created, can be corrected with this base editing technology. 61% of human genetic disease causing wrong letter could be corrected with this one. Okay, so let me give you another example. Clinical trial is therapeutics. Okay, so therapeutics clinical trial is ki approval agar step. Je kono treatment therapeutic strategy jodi ashe tale ta through clinical trial jete hoy. That is why vaccine preparation takes a lot of time. It goes through clinical trial. But for corona vaccine, it was exception. Lot of rules would, uh, means ignored because of our urgency. And that was needed to be ignored. And if uh, human population would not have ignored, that was a big mistake. But whatever, the, this clinical trial, one is ex vivo editing, making cancer killing T cells have been developed by genome editing and that treatment is undergoing clinical trials showing very good efficiency. Okay. 
sickle cell anemia, beta thalassemia, you know, all uh, the blood disorder, and they happen due to mutation. Those also under clinical trial, and this is the inherited childhood blindness, eye disease, that is also under clinical trial. And uh, just let me show you this example, sickle cell and what is it? Normal red blood cell. What happens if you have sickle cell? You have the less ability to transport oxygen and you suffer from severe pain. Some of your organ does not get oxygen and they suffer from severe pain and their, their life become hell. And this is Victoria Gray. She is a very brave lady to sign this experiment of clinical trials. And this is the first patient to get CRISPR gene editing treatment, continue to thrive. And this is a, this is a news from 2020. And a recent paper also published or the positive effect of Victoria Gray. She is surviving with the treatment without any bad impact. Another one, he has also sickle cell and he is also surviving because of this treatment. But those are all clinical tests, not approved till now. So normal people cannot use it. You have to, this is another disease, uh, okay. So let me just remind, these two that a guy gave you example, they are ex vivo genome editing. What is ex vivo? Ex vivo means outside human body. You take the cell out, say, repair it with the genome editing and then again transfuse the blood. This is ex vivo genome editing. So you do not insert CRISPR-Cas9 inside a body. That's ex vivo genome editing. But for this one, it's very exciting because what I, I wrote this one, historic day for CRISPR, first in vivo genome editing in a liver disease for liver genetic disease called uh, transthyreitin amyloidosis in six percent and he is Patrick Dorothy is one of the patient and he says I do not have any pain because of this undergoing his treatment and he said that I was lucky to take this step because a lot of people saying negative but he took this brave step and he is now uh, curing very well uh, from this disease in vivo for this patient, CRISPR-Cas9 has been injected in the body. Last slide. I started with progeria. This is a real progeria patient. Huge head and die within 13 and 14 years. But this always any kind of this kind of experiment was done in disease model, not in directly human, okay? So this is a mice model of progeria has been created. Uh, uh, cured with base editing tool. I have to show the video, okay? So because it does not play here. See if I can. So let me pick them up. Hey, honey. Hi. There he is. Can you see everybody? Say hi. Progeria mouse. This is progeria mouse. And then we have, as compared to the secret, they still yeah, have a point. very nice sleek coat. They're still very, very active. If I were to pick them up, they can jump out of my hand. Okay, so this is progeria cured in mounds. Uh, so I think. So now, Oro is very happy to see the result of this experiment. If you want to know more, so these two book as uh, Joyda has mentioned, this has protocol. This is not like traditional book chapter of review, but this is a protocol where you can use the stepwise protocol. So if you want to do genome editing in your crops, so you can consult this book and various chapter, one of the chapter might be helpful for you. And these are the review articles that I always uh, you know, any, knowing any new technology, you should go through first review article, then original research article. So these are the review article that we recently wrote and you can also uh, go through. And if you need, you do not have access, if you need those uh, PDF file, you can ask me, directly email me or maybe I can send through Joyda or maybe Anirban ji or maybe to Anirban. So Anirban da, <laughs> okay? Okay, so let me acknowledge, so I used funding from USDA, NSF and Fulbright also and from my institute. He is my postdoc uh, supervisor, Professor Inong Yang, 
who has developed the first genome edited mushroom. And these are the grad students that worked with me. And this is my current groups at uh, National Rice Research Institute. And some few more added, but they're not here. But, and, uh, okay. So we are done with genome editing, ABC of genome editing. Now a different thing, one slide. So as I represent Indian National Young Academy of Science, so I am the co coordinator of this chapter of this academy. And from IACS, Praveen Kumar is the coordinator from Indian Association of Cultivation of Science. We have member from JES Institute of Advanced Studies and Research from Calcutta, Chirosri from BE College, Shippur, uh, engineering science, mathematical science, medical science, Nishant from IIT Kharagpur, Dibendu Chatterjee from our institute, and this is from chemical science, Sri Parna Chatterjee. So if you need, in the future, for, for all the faculties and myself and uh, Jayada, if you need to contact any other seminar in future, in online, or maybe we can provide you the speaker if you find relative, uh, means if you find uh, their specification matches the seminar you want to organize for your students. So they will be happy to help you. Uh, and they are very good at science communication. Okay, so thank you very much. Thank you, Budur, for your nice and collaborative lecture. Now, uh, the forum is open for discussion. Any question from student in any language, you, may, you can ask in English, Hindi, Bangla, whatever you like. Sir, I have a crop that has been a problem with genome edited. The problem has been solved. Sir, the future has been a mutation. The future has been a crop. The future has been a problem. What do you do? What do you do? Do you have to do the same crop? I have a problem. Yes, you have to do the same crop. 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 तभी तुम्हें कुत्ते बार बात तुम्हारे क्वेश्चन जेटा शेटा ते हम क्यों आवे उत्तर दोगे क्रॉप इम्प्रूवमेंट इसे कंटिन्यूअस प्रोसेस व्हेन यू फेस न्यू प्रॉब्लम वी ऑलेस गो फॉर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग सॉल्यूशन ओके सो इफ यू सी दिस इज़ द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ़ करंट प्रॉब्लम इफ़ दिस क्रॉप एंड so if it is solvable with genome editing, you can do genome editing. And in future, suppose you get another problem, and if it is solvable with normal traditional breeding, you should go to traditional breeding. Does not mean, okay? Thank you. Hello. Sir, I have two questions. एक नंबर आपने जेटा बोल लें जब कैली नो जब स्वाबिंग टा मतलब तो ये डी करा होते हैं तो उटा 80 परसेंट लेस ओली मतलब 80 परसेंट ओली कैसी डच है 20 परसेंट लेस सैचुरेटेड फैटी ऐसी डच है तो सर अमरा जब स्वाबिंग ऑयल टे एक्सट्रैक्ट कोडी जेटा जेटा अमरा एडिबल एस ऑयल ही सबे शॉपर Fatty acid composition analysis score of data. With 80% oleic acid and 20% less saturated fatty acid. So, I can extract for a part. Plant modified. Same type of. So, I have been poured. So, I have been taken to me. Oil extract for me. And she can have to be the composition that changed. Sir, I have a question. The eight. जेटा कोड़ा होच्छे, एटा तो एक टा हेल्दी जीनिस तोड़ी होच्छे, किंतु सर एटा कोटो टा इकोनॉमिकली एफिशिएंट, मने अमार जी कॉस्टिंग की एटा अनेक टा तोफत कोड़ बे जे साधारण मानुस कंज्यूम कोत्ते पार बे की पार बे ना? Yes, very good question, very good question. So, so what we do in normal breeding, that I showed you one single example in my slides. 
একটা ব্রিডিং একটা ক্রপ তৈরি করতে গিয়ে সেভেন টু এইট ইয়ার্স বাট দ্যাট ইজ নট অলসো সামটাইমস সাফিসিয়েন্ট ওকে সেভেন টু এইট ইয়ার্স টাইম লাগে দিস ইজ অ্যান এক্সাম্পল অফ ব্রিডিং এক্সাম্পল আই শোড ইউ দিস ওয়াজ দ্য রাইট জেনেটিক এলিমেন্ট দ্যাট উই ওয়ান্টেড টু ট্রান্সফার বাট অন্য জেনেটিক এলিমেন্টও আমরা ট্রান্সফার করেছি আনোয়িংলি ওকে সো ইট টেক্স এইট টু নাইন ইয়ার্স টু গেট এ ফুললি গ্রো ফুললি ডেভেলপড ক্রপ ফর কমার্শিয়াল রিলিজ ফর ফার্মার্স and that takes huge amount of money and for genomedited crop you can develop within 2 to 3 years that i gave you example that single nucleotide change it took only one and half years to develop that same mutation that has a beneficial character so it saves lot of lot of money lot of economic uh, resources lot of uh, you know human resources also okay so it is obviously economic যদি ইন্ডিয়া ইম্পোর্ট ইম্পোর্ট পারমিট দেয় অবশ্যই হবে ভবিষ্যতে ইন্ডিয়া আই অলসো হেল্পিং সাম অফ দ্য ইনস্টিটিউট ইন্ডিয়া ইনস্টিটিউট অফ সয়াবিন রিসার্চ ইন্দোর আই আই এস আর সো ওয়ান অফ দ্য সায়েন্টিস্ট হ্যাজ কোলাবরেটেড উইথ মি আই এম হেল্পিং উইথ দেম টু ডেভেলপ সিমিলার কাইন্ড অফ সয়াবিন বাট আই ডু নট হ্যাভ এনিথিং টু শো বিকজ ইট ইজ অলরেডি সবে তো শুরু হয়েছে রিপেয়ার হবে কিন্তু এইচ ডি আর হয় শুধুমাত্র ডিউরিং ডিউরিং মিওসিস অ্যান্ড জি টু অর এস জি ওয়ান জি টু কি সাইকেলটা বলো সেল সাইকেল জি ওয়ান এস জি টু এম জি ওয়ান অ্যান্ড এস হলে সেই সময় এইচ ডি আর হয় কিন্তু এন এইচ যে পুরো সেল সাইকেল ধরেই হয় সেহেতু এন এইচ যে ইজ মোর প্রিডমিনেট নাও এইচ ডি আর কখন হয় যখন মিওটিক রিকম্বিনেশান দরকার ধরো একটা ক্রোমোজোমের একটা ক্রোমাটিডের একটা ডবল স্ট্যান্ড ব্রেক ডিএনএ হলো তখন ওরা কি করবে কি হয় মিওসিসের সময় দুটো পেয়ারিং হয় তো সিস্টার ক্রোমাটিড পেয়ারিং হয় তো একটা ব্রোকেন আর একটা তো ইন্ট্যাক্ট আছে তখন সেল কি করে ভীষণ চালাক কিন্তু আমাদের থেকে চালাক আমাদের সেল ওরা কি করবে ওই যে নন ব্রোকেন যেটা ইন্ট্যাক্ট কপি আছে সেটাকে দেখে এক্সাক্ট ইনফরমেশান কপি করে নেবে যাতে কোনো ভুল না হয় তো রিপেয়ার করতে গিয়ে বোঝা গেল তো এইচ ডি আর ইজ মোর প্রিসাইজ মানে কোনো রকম এরার হবে না কিন্তু পারফেক্ট রিপেয়ার হবে কারণ ওরা একটা টেম্পলেটকে কপি করছে দুটো ক্রোমোজোম আছে প্রত্যেক ক্রোমোজোম দুটো করে থাকে জানো তো ডিপ্লয়ারে একটা একটা ব্রোকেন আর একটা তো ইন্ট্যাক্ট আছে ইন্ট্যাক্টটাকে ওরা কপি করে সেটা হচ্ছে এইচ ডি আর বাট দ্যাট ইজ ভেরি ডিফিকাল্ট টু অ্যাচিভ ইন রিয়েল মিনস এক্সপেরিমেন্টে সেই জন্য প্ল্যান্টের ক্ষেত্রে ভীষণ কম এফিসিয়েন্সিতে ওটা আমরা তৈরি করতে পারি আর কি চলে গেল কিন্তু তুমি বলছো যে ফাংশনাল নন ফাংশনাল না হয়ে এমন একটা ভ্যারিয়েশন হয়ে গেল যেটা হার্মফুল ফর দ্য প্ল্যান্ট হতেই পারে ভেরি ইন্টেলিজেন্ট ইন্টারপ্রিটেশন গুড মিস ইউ আর থিঙ্কিং অ্যাবাউট দিস লেকচার আই এম ভেরি হ্যাপি সো এটা যদি হয় সাপোজ আমার মিউটান প্ল্যান্ট আমি হান্ড্রেড মিউটান প্ল্যান্টস ডেভেলপ করেছি আমি তাদেরকে গ্রো করব আমি তাদেরকে দেখব কোনগুলোতে কোনো এফেক্ট নেই ফেনোটাইপিক এফেক্ট কোনো কোনটাতে নেই তারপর যখন বিফোর রিলিজ উই উইল ডু জেনম সিকোয়েন্স নর্মালি যেখানে যেখানে রিলিজ হয়েছে যেমন টোম্যাটো অ্যান্ড সরি তাদের পুরো জেনমটা সিকোয়েন্স করা হয় করে দেখা হয় অন্য কোনো জায়গায় কোনো চেঞ্জ হয়নি তো এই একটা জায়গাতে চেঞ্জ হয়েছে তো আচ্ছা ওদের যে ফুড কোয়ালিটি সেটা চেঞ্জ হয়নি তো ওদের হাইট চেঞ্জ হয়নি তো লিফ নাম্বার চেঞ্জ এভরিথিং ইউ হ্যাভ টু অ্যানালাইজ অ্যান্ড দেন ইস আ গ্রিন সিগনাল টু গো টু দ্য ফার্ম সাপোজ দুটো প্ল্যান্টের হাইট কমে গেছে আনএক্সপেক্টেডলি হতেই পারে সাপোজ ওই প্রোটিনটা এমনভাবে অন্য প্রোটিনকে ইন্টারাক্ট করছে যার জন্য হাইট কমে গেছে সেই প্রোটিনটা দুটো প্ল্যান্টকে ডিসকার্ড করছে 
You don't carry forward that plan. Discard it. What are you talking about? Let's talk about the analysis. Thank you, sir. Ah, go ahead. Not wild type plant. US popularized variety is Jupiter. And Jupiter is blast susceptible. Blast is a fungus. Magnopore theorizes. Susceptible because of this problem. Jupiter has this natural mutation. But don't know there are resistant variety. Tadar khetre dhaga chai mutation to nahi. Tadar khetre stop kodan at the end that's it. So amra dhakon base editor construct baniya chai. Ebang genetic address jeta guide aran design kore chai. Ehi jaya gata. Jee jaya gata stop kodan correct kodte hawe. Tapar sheta base editor ebang guide aran hai. Akshat hai amra rice plant te transformation kore chai. Mane genetic transformation jeta agrobacteria mediated transformation hoi. Kora pore. Exactly, exactly. Yes, callus culture. Yes, the color for it, when it was a plant, we did a sequence of PCR amplifiers. We did a small amount 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 of PCR amplifiers. ग्रो करा ले देखी जे कोटिता थे बेसरिटर नहीं बेसरिटर चुले गया थी शेही गुलो के सिलेक्ट करे तापा तबे के हमने ब्लास्ट फंगस दे इन्फेक्ट कराई एवं देखी जे जेनेटिक चेंजेस है जो नो ये ब्लास्ट रेजिस्टेंट होलो की ना जो दी है तब मैं आपने काज सक्सेसफुल देन वी कैन अप्लाई टू यूएसडी � Exactly. Also, or should be that the hard cut or not? Kintu, if we can remove, why don't we should remove it? There is a way to remove, so we should remove it. If base editor is present, then the regulatory body around the world they treat this plant as GMO. Mane transgenic plant hoy galu. Karon foreign DNA ta achi present. Taakon kintu free free place to market hobe na. Taakon taake kintu GMO jaram regulation sharem regulation diye jete hobe. Taamane bhule jano commercialization bhule jano. Mane phone phone watch lagbe. ठीक है तो शेज़र ने बेसिकली तो ये करा है यार मतलब रिमूव करा है हाँ सर क्रिस्पर कैस नाइन टेक्नोलॉजी तक कि हमें एनिमल साइंस के तहत व्यापार करते बड़ी अवश्य है जो भी सर करते बड़ी ताहले धुरुन जैसे मस्तो स्पीशीज़ गुलो एक उन एक्सटिंक्ट हो गया थे तादेक तो हमें खुजे पर करते Uli Mamat and Namshan Achy, Uli Mamat. Uli Mamat and Namshan Achy. No, sir, Suni. Hey, Bishal, giant, hati, thikhe, bado. Bishal size. Extinct, hoi, yaj. Achy. Aami, naam, bolo, dechi, likhe, nao. Charge. George, charge from MIT, Harvard. Very, not a celebrated scientist. George, charge. Many times, Nobel, jana, nominated, hoi, chikin, dukun, bar, pahe, ni. George, charge is working to take back Uli Mamat. Extinct plant. Uli Mahmoud ke abar firi aante chai taajjun at a bishal multi-billionaire, multi-billion project chol chai, George Churchill Lab, MIT. Just you can search and read tonight. Uli Mahmoud ke pherota na chishta kora. This is one example. So you can also do that kind of things in other crops or even other organism that has already been extinct. So you can take back to the, but this is the wildest dream. People are working in that. So and they hope, because they hypothesize, Total workflow they have given, that's why they have been funded, okay? So uh, we hope it works, but it is going on, yes. Uli Mammoth, okay? George, charge Uli Mammoth, just search it. Hmm? Uh, sir, 
Am I audible? Yes, yeah. yes. In case of sickle cell anemia, uh, you said that the person were given uh, ex vivo treatment. Uh, but the tissues, from where the tissues were taken? Because the RBCs do not have nucleus. I had this question in my mind a lot of time because I could not understand from reading the original paper. Because, you know, the big paper do not explain a lot of methodology. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I learned it. So, bone marrow. They take from bone marrow, bone marrow stem cell. Then they take out and then they edit it. So, correct the mutation. And then, again, transplant the bone marrow. And then the body will produce the so the story is a little bit different. It's not that easy. You know, there are two kinds of hemoglobin. One is fetal hemoglobin, one is adult hemoglobin. Bachade dehe je hemoglobin thake, sheta alada from the hemoglobin that you have. Do the different version of hemoglobin, fetal and adult. Now, when uh, we become adult, then our body start producing adult hemoglobin. But in, in, in their childhood, in fetal condition, they produce fetal hemoglobin. Why? People do not know. People obviously hypothesize that this is the reason probably why fetal to adult shift is happening. So what they have done, they have now, in case of adult, they stop the fetal hemoglobin pro uh, uh, production by a very well explained mechanism. We know that our body suppresses a gene that produces fetal hemoglobin at this stage. Now, what scientists have done, they have knocked out or non-functionalized the gene that suppress fetal hemoglobin production. Have you got my point? Fetal hemoglobin production bond the hoja actor shamir por. Shetaki bond the correct gene. She gene taki crispr cas nine the out korage. Knockout. Not out. Knockout. Knockout mana function chalabal. Talever kiya fetal hemoglobin beshi produce of a adult deo fetal hemoglobin toy ho chicken. Now that fetal hemoglobin is healthy red blood cell. Means, full length RBC, not sickle cell theory. So, when we see the sickle cell is a problem, it is overcome because of the production of fetal hemoglobin. Yes, sir. But the fetal hemoglobin... The mutation, that mutation that you know that sickle cell happens for this mutation, that mutation is not corrected. It is only through the genome editing applied. That mutation has been corrected by base editing recently in mouse, but not in human being or in a therapeutic level. Okay? Okay, sir. But uh, therapeutic uh, level has a different approach to produce more fetal hemoglobin to suppress the effect of sickle cell from adult hemoglobin. Thank you, sir. Okay? Hmm. So, Christmas Cas9 DAJ, Amra plants gulo ke beshi develop kore phelchi. So, tar folle je insects gulo ache, she gulo tar damage korte pache na dherke. So, in turn, thale o insect ba fungi or particular species gulo ta aste aste loss hoye apne. No, kya na loss hoye? Thik aje, good, very good question. Agdom, mane khub bhalo genuine question. Same question, amak ek koi ek din aage ISR New Delhi thame ekta online lecture thi chil. Fikan ekta principal scientist amak ek same question kore chhe. So, amader gene mutation hoy kya na? Jano ki? कोनो टा बेनिफिशियल म्यूटेशन कोनो टा डिलिटेरियस म्यूटेशन है प्रोच्यूर म्यूटेशन है बेनिफिशियल इन ऑर्डर टू प्रिवेंट फ्रॉम पैथोजन इन्फेक्शन पैथोजन तादेव जेनोम इवाल्व करे फॉर मोर इन्फेक्शन प्लांट तादेव जेनोम इवाल्व करे फॉर इनहिबिटिंग इन्फेक्शन एंड इंड्यूसिंग रेजिस्टेंस So, in this lecture, we have given ISR in Kerala to the spice research. So, we have to say that we have to say that we have to say that. So, we have to say that we have to say that. Yes, let's go. Let's go. This is a gene, ISR gene. Now, this is a sweet gene. Now, this is a sweet gene. What do you do? I'm going to say it. Okay, what is it? Oh, that's it. Like a sweet gene, rice and mote thake. Eight, eight, ashabaji, tomah question answer tebe, or one, 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 one,
ট্রান্সপোর্টের প্রোটিন তৈরি করে যে প্রোটিনটা এখানে থাকে যে সে কি করে সুক্রোজকে ভেতর থেকে বাইরে ট্রান্সপোর্ট করে ওকে নাও জু জ্যান্থমোনাস ওরাইজি ওরাইজি ইজ এ ব্যাকটেরিয়াল ব্লাইট প্যাথোজেন অ্যাজ এ ব্যাকটেরিয়া ভীষণ চালাক ব্যাকটেরিয়া কি করে তার একটা প্রোটিন সিক্রেট করে তার নাম হচ্ছে ট্যাল এফেক্টার এই ট্যাল এফেক্টার গিয়ে সুইট জিনের প্রোমোটারে গিয়ে বাইন্ড করে প্রোমোটার ভীষণ রেসপন্সিবল একটা ডিএনএ এলিমেন্ট যেটা জিনের এক্সপ্রেশনকে ডিটারমাইন করে মানে জিন কটা এমআরএনএ কটা প্রোটিন তৈরি করবে তা সেটা ডিপেন্ড করে প্রোমোটারের উপর নাও জু যখন ট্যাল এফেক্টার সিক্রেট করে এটা গিয়ে বাইন্ড করছে কোথায় প্রোমোটারে সুইট জিনের নাও ইউ সি সুইট জিন ইস প্রডিউসিং মোর নাম্বার অফ প্রোটিন সো ইট ইন্ডিউসেস দ্য এক্সপ্রেশন অফ সুইট জিন সো দ্যাট সুইট জিন প্রডিউসেস মোর নাম্বার অফ প্রোটিন অ্যাজ এ রেজাল্ট সুইট প্রোটিন উইল ট্রান্সপোর্ট মোর সুক্রোজ ফ্রম ইনসাইড টু আউটসাইড নাও হোয়াই ব্যাকটেরিয়া ডিড দ্যাট ব্যাকটেরিয়া ডিড এ ট্রিক টু ইউজ the gene that is present already in, in the cell means plant cell because bacteria need sucrose as their nutrition bujhte hocche ki nam chalak plant er gene ke use kore sucrose ke transport kore nilo now bacteria is very happy it's producing lot of bacteria because they have nutrition means multiply kore simple bodhe ar kichu dorkar nei flat dorkar nei gari dorkar nei thik ache dorkar ache amader onek kichu dorkar ache na ওকে নাও এটা যদি আর একটু ডিটেলসে দেখি এই যে ট্যাল এফেক্টার ফ্রম ব্যাকটেরিয়া আর ওরা যে জায়গায় জ বাইন্ড করে সেটাকে নাম হচ্ছে এলিসিটার বাইন্ডিং এলিমেন্ট ভীষণ স্পেসিফিক টোয়েন্টি থ্রি বেস পারে একটা সিকোয়েন্স একদম ওখানেই বাইন্ড করবে এখানে সেখানে বাইন্ড করবে ওকে নাও কি হয় আমি ওই গল্পে যাচ্ছি না গল্পটা হচ্ছে প্রচুর আইস প্ল্যান্ট আছে ব্যাকটেরিয়ার এই ট্রিককে নষ্ট করার জন্য ইভি কে মিউটেশন করে দিয়েছে আমরা কিছু প্ল্যান্ট পেয়েছি যেটা অ্যানালিসিস করে দেখা গেছে যে ইভি তে ন্যাচারাল মিউটেশন এক্সিস্ট করছে অ্যান্ড দে আর রেজিস্ট্যান্ট টু দিস ব্যাকটেরিয়া বুঝতে পারছি কি বলছি ইভি যদি মিউটেটেড হয়ে যায় তাহলে ট্যাল এফেক্টার ক্যান নট বাইন্ড দেয়ার সো দ্যাট দ্য সুইট উড নট বিন ডিউসড অ্যান্ড প্রোটিন উড নট বি প্রডিউসড সুক্রোজ উড নট বি ট্রান্সপোর্টেড ব্যাকটেরিয়া উড নট বি গেটিং এনি এনি নিউট্রিশন সো ব্যাকটেরিয়া ক্যান নট ইনফেক্ট more the rice plant this is the natural mutation to inhibit bacteria now the story there is a healthy crop project a multinational project we are a part of that uh, from uk and other countries so we are trying to disrupt this ev sequence artificially by genome editing to inhibit bacterial growth and to develop bacterial resistance now when we analyze we have seen some bacteria also modified their tal effector producing gene in such a way that it could also bind to the mutated ev have you got my point tader tal effector ekta protein to bacteria the gene ta ache so back kichu bacteria sei gene ta ke amon bhabe modify koreche eigulo sob region specific mane dhorun pashchimbonge ekta rokom odisha ekta rokom erokom tader dehe sei gene ke amon bhabe mutate koreche jate je resistant variety ev সেখানে মিউটেটেড ইভি যেটা প্ল্যান্ট নিজে করেছিল কিছুদিন আগে সেটাকে ইনভিট করার জন্য বাইন্ড করতে পারে যাতে সে ট্যাল এফেক্টার প্রডিউসিং জিনকেও মিউটেট করে ফেলেছে সো দিস ইজ এ ভেরি ক্লাসিক্যাল এক্সাম্পল অফ কো ইভোলিউশন অফ প্যাথোজেন অ্যান্ড ক্রপ ফর দেয়ার ওন বেনিফিট ক্লিয়ার হাভ ইউ গট মাই আনসার হু হ্যাজ আজ দ্যাস কোয়েশ্চেন বুঝতে পারছো তো দুজনেই কিন্তু একসঙ্গে ইভলভ হবে যা যেটা দরকার হবে সে সেটা করবে দিস ইজ ন্যাট নেচার ইউ ক্যান নট ডু but you can do artificially something that will give you at least resistance power for 5 years or 10 years then again pathogen will modify themselves in such a way that your resistance would not work okay am i clear sucrose produce hocche transport hobe transport bolo bolo
Oh, yes. Hello. Ah. Okay, so there is, I, I will get back to you, please. One second. Please. So there is one uh, question from online. So this is uh, from Subhujit uh, Devguria. Devguria, who is uh, watching us online. So he has a question. This is a very relevant question. So he asked me, uh, Sir, Amra ki Bangladeshi question ko chhup khushi. Amra sir single base editing er madhu me Amra ki simply kono protein er gene sequence er maje ekta base edit kore stop kotha toh hi kotha pari creating stop kotha. Ami jar ki example dekhi chhi. Correcting stop kotha. Or question achhi creating stop kotha jodi kore bolte pari. Thale to gene function ta chole galu. Gene toh to truncated hoy galu. Thale amake knock out crispr cas9 diye kotha apna base editing diye kotha pari. Yes, obviously yes. For that, another base editor you have to use that is called cytosine base editor, CBE. Jeta the amra early stop kodon generate korte pari. Jehetu ei lecture ta base editing er upon noy. Ami shadaron to oi slide ta rakhi. Je you can create or correct both the stop kodon, creating or correcting stop kodon by base editor. But different base editor use korte hobe. For Correcting, I have used ABE, adenine base editor. For correcting, you have to use CBE, cytosine base editor. Okay? Okay, uh, we are taking just one or two questions more, okay? Sir, Amrajani, pleiotropy means one gene and mane many effects. Okay, so if you have a gene, you have a gene, you have a gene, जेटा एक टा गुड कैरेक्टर के कैरी करते हैं सापोज़ आई बोल जी शेरा ड्रॉटेड एग्ज़ेस्टर प्रोटेक्ट करते हैं किंतु शेरा आर की मने पेस्ट रेजिस्टेंस टा के मने ये बाप प्लांटर शेरा इनार्डली कोनो एक टा हार्म करते हैं प्लांटर कोनो सिस्टम ठीक है जी एरोम जीन के की एडिट करो कोनो ऑप्शन आते ह� so, it could be intelligent question. So, 